I cheated on my boyfriend with his boss while he was working. I was young, dumb, and in love, or so I thought. My boyfriend, let's call him John, had been working his butt off at this law firm for months, and I was feeling neglected. I mean, we hardly had any time for each other anymore. So what did I do? I cheated on him with his boss. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. What kind of person cheats on their partner, let alone with their boss? But hear me out, okay. It's not like I planned on doing it. It just kind of happened. One day, John was working late at the office, and I decided to pay him a surprise visit. You know, bring him some dinner, show him some love, that kind of thing. But when I got there, he was nowhere to be found. I wandered around the building, trying to find him, until I stumbled upon his boss's office. Now, let me tell you something about John's boss. He was tall, dark, and handsome, with a voice like velvet and a smile that could make your heart skip a beat. And he was always flirting with me, which made me feel special, you know, like maybe I wasn't just some insignificant girlfriend, but someone worth pursuing. So, there I was, standing outside his office, feeling lonely and neglected, and then he appeared. He asked me what I was doing there, and I told him about my failed attempt to surprise John. He listened intently, his eyes locked on mine, and then he invited me in for a drink. I know, I know, alarm bells should have been ringing in my head at this point. But I was naive, and I thought, what's the harm in having a little fun? So I followed him into his office, and he poured me a glass of wine. We chatted for a bit, about work, about life, and then he leaned in and kissed me. It was like fireworks, I swear. I had never felt such a rush of adrenaline in my life. We made out for a while, our hands exploring each other's bodies. We had sex right there on his desk, surrounded by all his law books and paperwork. It was wild and reckless, and I felt like I was living in a movie. We kept seeing each other after that, sneaking around behind John's back. He would tell me everything a woman could ever want to hear, and he made me feel like I was the only woman in the world. But eventually, reality set in. I realized that I was just a toy to him, a way to pass the time. He didn't care about me at all, not really. And John, my poor, sweet John, he had no idea what was going on. He was still working late at the office, oblivious to the fact that his girlfriend was sleeping with his boss. I tried to end things with his boss, I really did. But he was so persistent, so charming, that I couldn't resist him. I was addicted to the rush of being with him, to the attention he gave me. And John, bless his heart, he was still working himself to the bone, trying to provide for us. It wasn't until I found out I was pregnant that I realized I needed to come clean. I couldn't keep up the lies and the deceit any longer. So, one day, I sat John down and told him everything. He was devastated, of course. He couldn't believe that I had cheated on him, and with his boss, no less. But he also couldn't deny the fact that he had been neglecting me, that he had taken me for granted. We had a long, tearful conversation, and after taking a test and finding out the baby was in fact John's, we decided to try and work things out. It wasn't easy, believe me. John had a lot of trust issues, and I had a lot of guilt to deal with. But we went to couples counseling, we talked things out, and slowly but surely, we started to heal. His boss, on the other hand, wasn't so lucky. He lost his job, his reputation, and his wife, who found out about our affair. He called me, begged me to leave John and be with him instead. But I had seen the truth of who he was, and I knew I could never trust him again. So, here I am, years later, still with John. We have two beautiful children, a house in the suburbs, and a love that has been tested and tried but has ultimately prevailed. I regret what I did, of course, but I also believe that it taught us both some important lessons about trust, communication, and forgiveness. I know some of you might judge me for what I did, and that's okay. Cheating is never the right answer, and I'm not proud of what I did. But I also know that I'm not alone in my mistakes, that we all make choices we regret. The important thing is that we learn from them and try to be better, both for ourselves and for the people we love. So, there you have it. The tale of my infidelity, my redemption, and my enduring love for the man I cheated on. I hope you can forgive me, or at least understand where I was coming from. And if any of you out there are thinking of cheating, please don't. It's not worth it, I promise. What would you have done if you were John? Let us know in the comments below. My girlfriend cheated so I dumped her and started dating her boss. Hey guys, so I just had to come on here and share this crazy story of mine. You won't believe what happened to me over the past few months. So, a while back, my then girlfriend, let's call her Stacy, cheated on me. I couldn't believe it, but once I found out, I dumped her without a second thought. Now, Stacy worked at this really cool marketing company. She was always going on about how much she loved her job and how amazing her boss Karen was. Karen was this incredibly smart and gorgeous woman who was pretty high up in the company. We had met a couple of times at Stacy's work functions, and I always thought she seemed pretty cool. Anyway, after I dumped Stacy, I was devastated, but life goes on, right? I spent a few weeks moping around, binge watching Netflix, and eating way too many pizzas. But one day, I was scrolling through a dating app, trying to find a distraction, when I saw Karen's profile. I was like, no way, Stacy's boss is on here. I swiped right, not expecting anything to come of it, but to my surprise, we matched. Now, at first, I wasn't really sure if I should message her or not, considering the whole Stacy situation. But after talking it over with some buddies of mine, I figured, why not? I deserve some fun after all the crap I'd been through. So, I sent Karen a message, and we started chatting. 
At first, it was just casual conversation, but eventually, we started getting more flirty. I couldn't believe it was happening, but Karen was actually into me. We decided to meet up for dinner, and honestly, I was nervous as hell. I mean, here I was, going on a date with my ex-girlfriend's boss. Our first date was amazing. We had so much in common, and we were both laughing and joking around the entire night. I couldn't believe how easy it was to be around her. After the date, we decided to see each other again, and before I knew it, we were officially dating. Now, at this point, I hadn't told Stacy that I was seeing her boss. I mean, I didn't really owe her anything, considering she cheated on me. But, word travels fast in a small town, and it wasn't long before she found out. And boy, was she pissed. Stacy confronted me at the grocery store, and she was screaming at me, calling me all sorts of names. It was a real scene, and honestly, I felt pretty embarrassed. But at the same time, I didn't feel like I was in the wrong. I mean, she was the one who cheated on me, and Karen and I were just two single adults who happened to like each other. Anyway, after the confrontation, things started getting super awkward for Stacy at work. She couldn't stand seeing the two of us together, and it was clear that she was uncomfortable with Karen being her boss and me being her ex-boyfriend. I could feel the tension every time I dropped by to visit Karen at work. It was like she was trying to avoid me at all costs. Eventually, it got to the point where Stacy couldn't take it anymore. She quit her job and started looking for a new one. I felt kind of bad for her, but at the same time, I couldn't help feeling a little bit smug. I mean, she cheated on me and now she was paying the consequences. As for Karen and me, things were going great. We had been dating for a few months, and it was one of the happiest times of my life. We had so much fun together, and I felt like I was finally over Stacy and moving on with my life. Well, that seems to be working out. What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments below. When you subscribe, be sure to click the notification bell. Click here for more Tangled Threads.